story at 5 o'clock. After complaints of a large and loud disturbance in Canton over the weekend, police found at least 100 people gathered for an illegal car rally, and they made several arrests. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Stefan Dingle. Welcome to those of you watching us on CBS News Baltimore and here on WJZ TV. Baltimore police say someone set part of the Canton Crossing parking lots on fire, as car meetups have been a problem in both Baltimore City and County, with cars blocking streets and doing donuts, among other tricks. Yes, yeah, a popular area downtown as WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live at Canton Crossing with much more on the arrests in this case that all played out over the weekend. Mike. Rick Stefan, the two people who were arrested are not from Baltimore City or Baltimore County. We want to show you this, the mess that was left behind in the parking lot in front of the soon to open J. Crew and Bath and Body Works stores. And those two suspects are facing arson charges tonight. You can see the aftermath of the car meetup at Canton Crossing late Saturday night into early Sunday morning. Burned rubber on the asphalt here. People report hearing the loud cars as far away as Patterson Park before police broke up the event. There's at least 100 vehicles in the park a lot doing donuts. I'm going to have a good circle. Everybody start to run to their vehicles now. Yeah, it's what I made my presence known coming from Target. I got an officer surrounded to jump in on his vehicle. Baltimore City Police say they arrested a 19 year old from Mechanicsville and a 20 year old from Silver Spring and charged them with traffic violations and arson. This is the darkened area where gasoline was poured on the pavement and it was set on fire before the suspects disposed of the gas can and tried to flee. I do have the uh, suspect pouring gas on video uh, in the middle of the parking lot. Yes, yeah, he's wearing a very distinct security guard outfit. Well, I'm going to say he's not going to have that job much longer. It's just teenagers blowing off steam is what it looks like. Terry pulled into the lot, saw the skid marks, and wondered what happened here. I thought maybe there was a truck that was leaking something, and they just were trying to find a place to park. I had no idea. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. It's not funny. It's kind of rowdy, but, you know, even though nobody was hurt, this fire, I, there's been several, like, serious Accidental are so many kids fooling around that catch stuff on fire. WJZ has reported extensively on car meetups and street racing this year. Participants blocking streets and creating disturbances in Baltimore City and Baltimore County. The city increased the penalties to a maximum of one year behind bars and a $1,000 fine. Still, the issue has been tough to stop with participants moving quickly from place to place. And in the incident here, police had their Foxtrot helicopter up, which was instrumental in helping them make those arrests. Live in Canton, Mike Helgren, WJZ. That's certainly disturbing, Mike. Thank you. Our